Hey, welcome back to Elephants of Puente. So glad you could come by, spend a few moments with me. <laughs> I copied my intro from Tori Magoo, 44. She's the greatest. If you ever want to learn about Scientology and all of um, the shenanigans that went on, look up Tori Magoo, 44. She went through it all and uh, lived to tell the tale. Tori Magoo. Um, so anyway, my video today is about talking about this global reset and some say it's a purge. Some say, you know, back in the day when I was, it's funny, when I was going to school, the short story, The Lottery, by uh, Shirley something or other, well, I, I kept bumping into it. And <laughs> did they put it in the curriculum for a reason? But it was in several, multiple books. Even in, in college, it was in a couple books. The lottery where the town would kill one person a year um, for the good of the community. Well, on a grander scale, um, maybe that's what we have going now, down now. But the best laid plans of mice and men go awry, Robert Burns. And, you know, God is sovereign over this. And... We'll see what happens, right? Um, time will tell. But, you know, what do we have? We have these crazy statements that are out there that uh, Joe Biden is saying Social Security is going to be out of money in two years. He's also hired a, a COVID uh, advisor <clears throat> whose claim to fame is that no one should live beyond age 75. How old is Joe Biden? Well, he's over 75. That's a little, uh, I guess there's our exceptions. See, that's the whole thing. There are going to be exceptions. But let me just say this. The, the purge, the real purge that's going to go down is um, the tables will be turned when Jesus, you know, God is sovereign. His will is done. And the tables are going to be turned and the real purge will be the people who hate Jesus, who don't believe in Jesus, who have ignored Jesus, who haven't been born again. They will find themselves purged in the new heavens and the new earth. And they will not rule and reign with Christ. They will not live on the streets of gold. Um... They will not live on the new heavens and the new earth. They will not have new glorified bodies, as Philippians 3 talks about at the end of the chapter. Um, and they're going to be in for a shock, a real shock. Um, how to, that's all I wanted to really say. I mean, I could continue and talk about how the lies, you know, because they fail to uh, love the truth, God sends a powerful delusion on them. See, they're using delusions now to gain their power. You know, evolution, COVID-19, global warming, um, even the abortion lie, pro-choice. They're gaining their power on the backs of babies, on the backs of young parents in compromised situations of all very vulnerable, the weakest of them all. You know, Dr. Bernard Nathanson, who was the founding, last surviving founder of NARAL, the pro-abortion group that tried to create an industry. You know, the cap, you know, the, the, the socialists hate capitalism that exploits the weak. Isn't that the, the Carlin card? But what does a, what does abortion do? It exploit, exploits the weak, the weakest amongst us. You know, if you have committed a, in, an abortion, I'm not saying there's no hope for you, okay? If you, you've been involved in one, man, guys too, obviously, girls, takes two to tango. Um, there is forgiveness, you know, and, you know, Christ 
forgave murderers. Paul was a murderer, and he was used the most. Right, there is hope here. This is not a condemnation. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. That's, see, that's one of the problems with people learning about Christianity. They go so far and then they, um, um, it's already pre-slanded when it's presented to them. That's, so, they don't believe, you know, they don't believe. They want to get any closer. They don't want to get closer to God because they, if there is a God, they feel like they're they're fallen and there's, there's no hope. Well, the blood of Christ provides hope. It provided a way for us to get to heaven. All right. So, um, so these lies, these, the God's gonna send a powerful delusion. He's gonna turn the tables on everyone. It's gonna be a great purge. The purge is gonna be exactly the opposite of what these elite think, and will. They will get the shock of their lives. But God will just, when he comes back, the second coming of Jesus Christ, the doctrine in the church, he's going to just say it one word, and they're just going <laughs> to, all, all his enemies are going to fall. So, think twice if you're, uh, you know, repent means think twice. That's what it really means um, about Jesus. And who you're messing with. Um, you know, the Bible is provable. I've said this many videos before. It's objective, objective benchmarks in history. Alexander the Great translating the Old Testament into Greek. And so we have an objective benchmark in history that shows when, that shows that the Messiah, right, will, will be born in, in Bethlehem, Micah 5, 2, right? 300 years before Christ, this was put out there. It'll be from e out of Egypt. How can one person do this? Well, we learned that Jesus had to go to Egypt, right? Uh, uh, Hosea 11, 1, right? Um, and Isaiah, you know, it'd be from uh, Galilee, right? Isaiah 9. Um, so, or is it 7? Well, whatever. The Bible has amazing wow factor, okay? Prophecy, get into prophecy. The babes in Christ, you know. <laughs> a lot of times I still think I'm a babe. The babes in Christ. Apostle Paul went right after him with the prophecies of the Bible. Read first sec second Thessalonians. Take you like a twenty minutes probably. All right. But the problem with the Bible is it's there are key points where it is mistranslated. This apostasia that you see in um, Second Thessalonians is actually a reference to the rapture. It means departing, a departing. Uh, talking about when the Antichrist comes. All right, there's, n there's not going to be this falling away. That's how it's translated. See, the Catholics translated into revolt to get at back at the Protestants, you know, from the Protestant Reformation in, you know, 1520s. And, but the 1575 Reims Bible translated apostasia into as revolt. And then, <laughs> then the Protestants turn about being fair play 30, 40 years later, King James Bible turned, um, translated apostasia into falling away. And so 90% of the Bibles now say there has to be a falling away first before the Antichrist is revealed. But the real translation, all those Bibles, the, the Tyndale Bible, the Wycliffe Bible, you know, all Cranmer, Cranmer Bible, all those Bibles before 1521 translated, um, I, you know, I just, obviously I just studied this, <laughs> translated it as, um, Departure, a singular event, the word departure, or so, or departing. So there is going to be a departing before the Antichrist is revealed, okay? And the Antichrist is going to fool everybody. Um, and everyone will accept his vaccine, mark of the beast, to prove that they have allegiance to this beast, okay? So, <laughs> a 
that's what I got for you today. Um, the purge will happen, but it it's going to be the elite, unless they think again and rethink. But all these CEOs who quit last year, you know, Bill Gates quitting on fr Friday the 13th of March, you know, wink, wink, right? Um, you know, I see all these signs out there too, you know. Um, it's just incredible. All right. That's all. Excuse me for that. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. We'll catch you next time. Have a great day.